What are we looking at today? Yamaha's YBR125, but Mark 1. This is a 2005 model, a carb model. We earlier looked at the injection model, which are my last two videos. This is another um, do me up. You might see a shopping bag on the side. That's not full of shopping, it's full of parts. But what are the main differences between this model and the Mark II model? I mean, they're both the 13 brake horsepower little engines in here, both a good two gallon nod tank. Um, they're both about 67 miles an hour. Subtle differences was headlight, um, went from glaze to clear. The clocks are different. And the tank, give or take the same size, has fenders on the side. The side panel is slightly bit different, shape and bigger. And the arse little ones here, they're slightly bigger as well. Um, let's have a look at them. Mark 1, slightly glazed, and it's a 6 inch headlight. Mark 2, made it to an inch bigger, 7 inch headlight, and it's clear. Indicators, well, they're a bit bigger. Indicators here are a bit smaller. Mark 1 clocks, and we're still analog clocks with dials. Still got the petrol gauge rev counter and your little lights across here. But on the Mark 2, slightly more flashier. Raise them a little bit. Mark 1 tank, a little bit skinny. But, at the end of the day, it's 125. On the Mark 2, I've added these little bits here. Still the same leakage tank though. Sides on the Mark 1 and the reshaped one on the Mark 2 and uh, well the bum I mean they will come this little rack the Mark 2 I had didn't but you can see uh, not much there well on this one you can clearly see they've made it a little bit wider a little bit fatter from behind I guess rear lights the same but as for the engine yeah the sight missing isn't there um, the windings have gone on here so I've got a new static coil coming and the carburetor is a manual choke carburetor here. Batteries in the same place, chain, sprocket, and the engine is identical. With this one, how? However, with this one, however, it's injection, but everything else is in the same place. If we go, okay, slightly different pattern on the front, and obviously the rear wheel. They are still, as I said before, itty bitty. Front wheel on the Mark II and the rear wheel. They have changed the mag pattern though. So, enough on the similarities. Wait, something's missing. That's better. What a lovely day. Friday last, lovely day. Saturday, snow. Sunday, freezing cold and snow. Monday, freezing. Tuesday, alright, and here we are today, lovely, back in the roll up jumper weather. Anyway, well, in the next video, we're going to be doing the clutch. Cable that is, because it hasn't got one. We're doing the stator coil or windings on this one. Here, as you can see, it's missing the stator coil or the windings, and the starter goes over the top of here. Got all the bits though, they'll be coming, but got the cover still. And the cover, I'm not sure about what these are. I'm going to have to have a look at these. Bloody lock set again. But this is the non-injection, so I'll be able to replace that this time. And it will come with petrol cap and obviously a side here as well. What? I like tea. All these bits need to be fixed. I'll probably just have a three videos. This one you're seeing now what needs to be done. Next one, just I'll do the static coil and get all the kickstart and everything else working. Probably ignition as well. And then overall video. Or if it's short, because the last one was 28 minutes, which is bloody long. So, oh, please like, share and subscribe. Look out for the next video on this one of me fixing it. Um, check the tyre pressure, I've got a pre MOT lights, indicators and all the bits that need doing as well. So, like, subscribe and share and keep on watching my videos. Cheers.